It was a tweet exchange heard across the country today. Senator Bob Corker calling the White House an adult daycare center after President Trump tweeted that Corker begged the president for his endorsement. Before he left on that breaking news, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb looked at how people are reacting to the war of words between the senator and the president. In the Twitterverse, tweets about people here at home can spread worldwide in just an instant. How is this moving? Exactly what happened at 8.59 this morning when the president tweeted, Senator Bob Corker begged me to endorse him for re-election in Tennessee. I said no, and he dropped out, said he could not win without my endorsement. He also wanted to be my secretary of state. I said no thanks. He closed a third tweet by saying Corker didn't have the guts to run. Corker then responded on Twitter himself. It's a shame the White House has become an adult daycare center. Someone obviously missed their shift this morning. I think it definitely makes a, an impact on how everyone feels, especially with it being from him. Some folks back home, having seen the tweets today, say while everyone's entitled to an opinion, they wish elected leaders would lay off the Twitter back and forth. I would much rather that these wars be behind closed doors between two grown entities and they actually bring together some solutions and we can actually see and, and we can have something positive to tweet about. So while some tweets can spread worldwide in an instant, some wonder today if they really need to. And that was Jason Lamb reporting tonight. The New York Times reports Senator Corker told them in an interview that President Trump is treating the office like a reality show with reckless threats toward other countries that could set us on the path to World War III.